Welcome to the 2020 Missouri Western State University Griffin Film Festival, presented to you by the Department of Theater, Cinema, and Dance. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the show. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend. Go Griffs. No, I know. Hey, you're my assistant, okay? That means you have to do what I tell you. And when I tell you to fire Linda, uh, no, no I, don't, I don't care if her mom is dying of cancer, okay? We need to close the Anderson account and she's stopping us from doing that. What do you mean what's the Anderson account? It's what we've been working on. I, I gotta go, I gotta go. Spare change, please. Oh, 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 spare change, sir. A handsome man as yourself with such a lovely suit must have some change yeah. to give. Please. Oh. Oh. Fuck off, oh. tweaker. Please, sir, I'm broke. I'm just a former chairman of GameStop with nowhere to go. Please, sir. Oh, Anything oh, at all to Yeah, go. I got this, buddy. Just, oh, I got this. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh. How about that? Please, sir, just, just say any spare change at all, please. Bingo. Come on, come on. May all of your dreams come true. It is I, Winifred, the all powerful, all seeing You there, sir. What? Don't you have any wishes you'd like to come true? <laughs> You're joking, right? I am no jester, my friend. I'm here to make all of your dreams come true. I'll give you whatever you'd like. Love, sex. You sir look like you could use some. Excuse me? <laughs> I believe it though. I, I believe it. Now let's try one. What? Where am I? Yeah, Ma, I'll get a different job. What? Oh, I can always go back to stripping. <laughs> You know I don't got it. <laughs> yeah, Ma. The hubby can never get it now. Huh? Oh, oh, God! What the hell? Ran into too much of a woman for you now, is she? Oh, Lord, she knows. I got something to say. Trial, too. Oh. Oh. Todd, the lawn needs to be mowed still. Trial two. What was that? You cheated on me. I knew it, you whore! No, 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 wait, wait. You cheated on me! I knew it! I bet it was with Paulette. Who in the hell was Paulette? No! I knew you never loved me! It's always been Paulette! That stupid bitch is one that you said to fucking fairy dumb! Listen, lady, I... <laughs> okay, man, I'm done. I'm done playing your games. You're a tricky one, aren't you? She did not have her emotions in check all the way. A lot like a platypus in a hat. What? Come on! Hey, man. I, I, you can take my money, okay? Just, just, just leave me alone, please. I got just the thing for you. Quinn is right up your alley. <laughs> Trial three. No, please. No. No. <laughs> what? 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 Oh. oh my god. Help! Just relax. What? Don't be tense. I'll be gentle. Uh oh. No, please. <laughs> no. 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 
I fucking knew it. Good riddance. Yes, uh, help. So, somebody help, please. This, this man right here is trying to bug me. Please, please, somebody. He, he's, he's getting away. Please. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, officer. You're How here. How many times do we need to detain you, old man? No, who's him? This is the third time this week. Ugh, your cloak stinks. Get him. All right. No. 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 Yeah, my turn. <laughs> you ask for this. <laughs> like that? First one. Uh, didn't we do like a hundred of those? Yeah, but weren't you keeping track of the ones you liked? I, I, they're all fine. I mean, I, how am I supposed to pick okay. a favorite one out of all these? I have a list that's compiled. You can look at it and pick your favorite. I don't care about this. Right now, you need to go. Okay. Hey, bud. Hi. Hey, can yeah. I talk to you for... Oh, yeah. Hey! Get the hell out of my chair! All right, so let's talk about uh, the project. Yeah. The acting. We do want the sound Out of my face, don't care. Come on, move! The project, the acting, yes. um, the words, the words on the page, the page, right? Yeah, right. Um, okay, so how do I put this delicately? Okay. Uh, they sound fake. Fake. You know what I mean? Fake. Y not yeah, real. Yeah. yeah. Not I mean, obviously, it's not real. It's it's words on a page. It's it's yeah. it's, a, it's a it's a book, of, uh, like for children, yeah, like children yeah, read. Yeah. But I wouldn't read this to my child. This would give them nightmares. Hey. Oh. Uh, um, real quick, I just wanted to let you know your wife called. She's leaving you and taking the kids. You, she likes you. You go talk to her. Okay. Go fix it, it for me. All right. You got it. Book. Children. Book. Children. Yes. yes. Not yeah. good. Oh. Fake. Not believable. Oh. Okay. So make it not fake. Oh, okay. That will make it better. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can do that, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna take this. Stand in your mark. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Can we get this slate in the shot, please? Better slate than never. Can I get a Pepsi in his hand now? Thank you. All right. Get the boom out of the shot. <sighs> okay, audio. It's rolling. All right, camera. Camera! Oh, rolling! <sighs> okay, go ahead, honey. Put the slate. Go ahead. Okay. Crystal Pepsi interstitial number one, scene one. Apple. Uh, who what is, who is using the slate before me? Is that a Daedric rune? A Daedric God. what? Freaking nerd! Oh my God. Run 80. Come on, fix it. Run take 80. Okay. What you said run 81. 80. 80? It was like... 18! It was a range from 18 to 105, 80. so I'm going with 105. All right, thank you. All right, okay. clap it. Oh, yeah. Now, sorry, you're going to have to clap again. Now, no, dude, okay. Let's just do it on three, two, one. Yep. Three, two, one. Now, no, it's... It's fine, just leave, move. Let's settle. Remember, not fake! <coughs> Action! A cool summer breeze. A freshly mowed lawn. Have you ever rolled your window down while driving down an old road on a cool summer day? Have you ever let the rain slowly sprinkle on your face after a long day's work? Have you ever kissed a freshly shaven man? You might have done all of these, 
But in case you haven't lived the little things in life, we've got the drink for you. Crystal Pepsi. A classic soda for the honest folk. It's crisp. It's refreshing. You can see right through it. Drink Crystal Pepsi. It's good because it's clear. Yeah, it's good because it's clear, huh? Cut! Crystal Pepsi. Exercise has so many benefits. It, it's such a great way to stay in shape. It improves heart health, bowel regularity, and sweat can hydrate the skin of a freshly shaven man. Exercising is only half the battle. Diet Crystal Pepsi. The smooth, crisp taste of Crystal Pepsi, and only half the calories. And yes, it comes in clear. And in order to retain the flavor of good old Crystal Pepsi, we made sure to add a hint of concentrated beluga will fat and berries so you can maintain your energy and your positivity at the gym. Hey Tubby, watch this. It's gonna be a hot one today. Diet Crystal Pepsi. It's good because it's clear. Got the Diet Crystal Pepsi here now. It will make you drink a lot. Your fat ass will gain a pound. Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> Um, can we, can we cut that? Can we take a bit? Ah, oh, this is the third time today. Ah, oh, oh, it's, oh, it's so gross. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that, ah, uh, I hope that wasn't expensive. Hello there, my name is Tyler and I'm a prison guard. As of right now, I'm in the middle of a very bad joke. Me, the prison guard, is busy playing cards with a dead man walking and a priest. Is there anything you'd like to confess, Daniel? Father, you have a better chance of me confessing to any drunk sin I've committed than telling you what I hold here in my hands. I mean, honestly, Daniel, of all the things you could ask for, 
You ask for jelly beans and ice cream for your final meal. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna die by the hands of a stranger holding a syringe, I might as well give diabetes one nice chance to kill me. Besides, you're the one who decided to come in on this day off. Just for me. I wonder why. I'm out. I can see it on your face that something troubles you, my son. Speak your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's why you are here, isn't it? I should speak my thoughts. Well, father, this is what I'm thinking right now. I hate it when he does that. He can change moods in an instant. Judging from that face he's making now, he can act up in any three ways. He can turn into a lunatic if he wanted to. I would find the closest sharp object and just start cutting myself before them. The pain felt so good. <laughs> or he can turn into the violent brute that got him here. Skulls are hard to punch, you know. Yet, grabbing them by the hair and grinding them against the wall seems to do the trick. But this is what really happened. It's funny. A few years ago, I actually wanted to commit suicide. Everyone around me, they, they struggled in life, like we all do. But they still had love. And I'm not talking about that family we love you bullshit. I'm talking about the love you get from friends and family. It's hard not to believe in luck when you've had so much bad luck after years of being nice, responsible, and civilized. Yet, I'm still the one spending his weekends alone. Just love yourself, they say. The right one will come, they say. But I got news for them. Nobody can. I raise you a bean. We cannot ignore this man's rage. He has to make peace first. He has to fold first. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a dead man walking with a willing hand. Then I can't help you any longer. I guess that killing those three men and that girl was my way of committing suicide. Just took longer. All in. Will it hurt? All you'll feel is the coldness, like falling asleep in a fridge. Or of a kind. Then my bad luck goes again. Full house. I thought I could read people better. Being called a psychopath on a daily basis and all. Come on. Let's go. I do have one thing to say though. I want to say sorry to you in person. Sorry for killing your sister. She was just trying to keep me from killing those thugs. She wasn't doing it to protect the thugs. She was doing it to protect you from doing something that you would soon regret. I don't regret killing those thugs. I do regret killing her. Do me one favor. What? What cause did the police have? <laughs> Priest had a pretty good poker face. Had a royal flush. <laughs>
want to skate, but I'm like so f***ing tired. Like, me too, bro. It's like, whoa. Stamina cannot be matched. All thanks to the power of Crystal Pepsi Rush. But mister, how is Crystal Pepsi Rush different from other energy drinks? Like Dr. Paprika, Mountain Blaze, Coca-Cola, Five Cucko, Pow, Gun, Big Pee Pee, and Big Red Truck Brand Energy Drink. It's clear. Try Crystal Pepsi Rush. It's good because it's clear.
He is making a list of his defects, he says. He is using a new system to manage his total quality. Total quality of what, she says. Of life, he says. In this case, his life. It could be other things too, like a business. But in this case, it is his life and is improving total quality of it by eliminating his defeats. Defects. Yes, that's what he meant to say. Defects. The things he does that compromise his total quality. For example, each time he eats too much, he makes a little mark here. And each time he sees someone he could network with and does not take the opportunity, he makes a little mark there. What happens if he gets too many defections? Too many defects and his life is compromised, he says. Then he says, maybe she could make a list of defects too. Then they would be doing an activity together, which she has often said they don't do. And she says, she doesn't have any defects, but perhaps she could do benefits. For example, every time she does something good, she could get a mark. That isn't how this is done, he says. And anyway, he likes it this way. And anyway, she does have defects. Such as what? She says. Such as being late. That's not a defect, she says. And he says. It doesn't compromise her total quality of life, being late all the time and making everyone wait? No, she says. She doesn't mind being late. But maybe, she says, it compromises his total quality because he has to wait for her and that drives him crazy. So perhaps she could make it his defect. Every time she is late, he gets a mark. That's another one of her defects, he says. Negative attitude. She could keep track of them for him, she offers. Up. 
Yes. How are we getting back? Uh. Do you want to play a stinky? A stinky game, mayhaps? <laughs> the rules of the game are simple. In 10 minutes, a timer will go off. And when that happens, a bomb! We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you a very special announcement from the Crystal Pepsi headquarters in Wahoo, Nebraska. Hello, my name is Mr. Pepsi the Fifth, CEO of the Crystal Pepsi Empire. Today, I would like to talk to you about the Crystal Pepsi you know and love. We know how much flavor is important to you all. Flavor is the most important thing to us too. Mmm, 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 taste. But, as much as we know you love that classic Crystal Pepsi flavor, we have decided to re-release and bring back classic Crystal Pepsi flavors straight from our Crystal Pepsi vault. The first of which is Crystal Pepsi Shaven. For that freshly shaven man in your life that you just love to kiss. We also have Diesel Pepsi. It can fuel your car and your tummy. We have Flamin' Hot Pepsi, made extra spicy and toasted just like you like it. We have Plasma Pepsi. We made Pepsi in the one form of matter thought to be impossible. It's very toxic. We have Canadian Pepsi. It's just made from that cheap maple syrup that they don't really have anywhere in Canada, you know, it's ones, whatever. We have Pink Pepsi. It's made from some fluffy cotton candy I found in the walls of my attic. Crystal Pepsi, Nebraska. It's made from corn and okay. shit, whatever from Nebraska, I don't know. We have F. Scott Fitz Betsy. It's a cool and refreshing drink that tastes like lime and represents the death of the American dream. We have Betsy Milk Plus cigarettes, so your dad doesn't have an excuse to go to the gas station and abandon you and your family. We have Irish Spring Betsy to clean yourself and pour down your kids' throats when they're acting up and playing too much of them damn video games. We have Break Time Betsy. It's made from espresso, bourbon, and a ground up cigar. We have blood type Pepsi. Pepsi made from every blood type for whenever you need a blood transfusion. May contain human diseases like HIV and it might not even be human blood, so you don't have to worry about that part. They're the same great flavors that you know and love. And you may think that they might not taste the same, but I, I guarantee that those flavors have not changed one bit. Maybe it's you who have changed. Maybe over the flow of time you have grown and grown up and become a very different person than you were before. That's not our problem. Buy the drink. And most importantly, have fun. Eight minutes remain.
got a recipe, so don't you be testing me, or you will get shown up. Put some crystal in your kid's lunchbox, and tell them to hide it and sell it on the sidewalks. That will get them to get up and stop playing Xbox, and maybe even learn to put their cash inside a lockbox. Give some crystal to a good friend, tell them to sell and bring you all of the bread. Tell them to gather some of their friends, repeat the cycle, repeat it again. Look at you, you made a trend, now you direct all the lesser and because of that you have massive respect. Now you are a drug boss, you're intimidating, by drugs I'm referring to the caffeination. You'll be wanted by the FBI and FDA around the nation. Sitting in the mansion, your chopper ain't just landing Right up on your roof, you gon' fly out to Atlantis Somewhere in the Atlantic, you think you can find it You have sonar boats, it's only a matter of time and Five months at the sea and something finally turns up You find the map and it leads you to the place you've only heard of Now you will go down in history as the coolest person ever You just found Atlantis can Reminisce your endeavors. Hey, sorry everyone, I'm late. I got stuck in traffic. You know, there's like about a five car pileup. I, I don't think anyone died. They, they probably didn't, but I mean, people are badly wounded. You know, there's, there's a lot of blood, but you know, luckily, like, you know, everyone got rescued and stuff. That, I mean, that, that was found, of course, but you know, it, it, it seemed fine, so I just drove away, made my way here. You know, it, it's just been a rough morning with that and not getting my Starbucks. It's been a long day. Anderson account today. What's the Anderson account? So, my son, my freshly shaven boy, how'd you do on the big sports game today? We did great, Dad. We won the Continental Shoe Trophy. And then after the game, we drank a bunch of Crystal Bepsies. Boy, howdy, Crystal Bepsy. What a delight. I hope you weren't drinking too much of it now. I actually don't feel very good. I, I think I'm going to lie down. <laughs> oh. I knew all this TV would do this to you. What'd I tell you about that howdy duty? I knew he wasn't a good influence. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Nobody for you, dear. You don't have any friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. Howdy, neighbor. Sir, my name is Detective Coates. I've been investigating a string of strange occurrences, and I just have a couple questions for you. Is now a good time? Yes, it is a good time. How can I help you? Oh, it's okay, honey. It's just the detective. <laughs> That's a good one, Banana Man. Banana Man says it's time for a bath. You need to leave now. Oh, but I just have a couple...
<laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. I just thought of a joke. Want to tell me what it is? No. You wouldn't get it. there, Chris. It's Dr. Callahan from the West North Psychiatric Rehabilitation Facility. Uh, just calling because you missed your appointment last week. Look, I know it can get rough. Howdy, Chris! Oh, what the hell?! Partner? What are you doing here?! Well, I'm here for you, bucko. Here for me. Twelve years of shit, and you're just now here for me? I thought you were my best friend. Where have you been all my life? You're right. I am your best friend. I've been wandering the wild west of imaginary friendland, and there hasn't been a day that's gone by that I haven't thought about you. But, see, the important thing is, is that I need your help. What? You see, um... Uh, Someone took my guitar, and according to this piece of literature, I can't be a real imaginary friend without it. See, a, a bad, bad man took my guitar, Chris. A pirate. Great. So, what do you want from me again? Come with me to get it back, Chris. It'll be a genuine adventure, just like the good old days. Adventure? Yeah, let's get rootin' tootin'. Is that my fucking broom? Well, here we are, buckaroo. A bar? Aren't you from a dry county? Well, now we ain't here for no neck oil there, Sheriff. We're here for that there guitar. Okay. Now, now, <laughs> one more thing. The pirate in question happens to be an imaginary conception of um, someone you may know. Jerry? I'm trying to get clean and you bring me to my drug dealer? Now, 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 just, just hear me out, Chief. All right, I confront the pirate and you confront Jerry. Two birds, one stone. Easy. Now, giddy up, cowboy.
You chicken? Do you see any feathers? What happened to two birds with one stone? I thought that you were a cowboy. Well, darn tootin', I'm a cowboy. I'm just a, a little scared, you know? Just, just a little bit. <laughs> it happens. Ahoy there, mateys. What trash doth the tides bring in? Ye be an instrumentless shrimp. Well there, big cheese. Your instrument's just a dumb. Me guitar. Hey. You don't need it. This dock isn't big enough for ye and me, and especially not ye. The only ye around here is Hawpud. Go put your one horse insult back in your treasure chest, Swabby. Go back to your captain with your instrument. The only thing that squeeze box is good for is folding maps and keeping you in abstinence. But, uh, I, uh, but matey! I ain't your matey! did it. I did. I'm still here. It's your turn, bucko. Hey. What you need? Uh. Nothing. I'm good. 